All right, we're going to talk about uh, linear growth. Uh, linear growth can be represented different ways. We can represent linear growth as a pattern. Uh, we can represent it in a table. And we can also represent it as a rule, and we're going to use all three of those representations for a pattern here today. Uh, so the pattern I'm going to look at is a pattern, pretty simple. Uh, the first figure in the pattern is this. Okay. Uh, and the second figure in the pattern is this. And the third figure is this. Okay. So we're basically counting how many tiles exist in each figure uh, in this linear growth pattern. So if I want to make a table, this is the pattern that we're looking at. If I want to make a table out of that, I would have basically the figure number and then the number of tiles. So in figure number one, we have three tiles. Uh, in figure number two, we've got five tiles. And in figure number three, we have seven tiles. And so we can kind of see what's happening. Every time I make a new figure, I'm adding a, a new tile on to kind of the end. So I'm adding a tile on here, and I'm adding a tile on here. So I'm actually adding two tiles. Now that makes sense when I look at my, my table, because every time I go up a figure, this is going up plus two, plus two. And that's what makes it linear growth. Linear growth is a pattern that increases by a constant amount. Then the last part of this is going to be, what's that rule going to look like? So if I want to figure out how many, how many tiles sorry, I would need uh, for the 10th, for the 50th, for the 1,000th, for anyone at all, I can figure out a rule that will help me figure that out. Now, I know it's always going up by 2 for the number of tiles. <coughs> the last piece of information I need is basically what does this thing start at? Um, if I kind of cheat this and go backwards a little bit, this would be going down by one, and this would be going, that's a negative, sorry, there we go. And this would be going down by one as well to go from here to here, right down by one. So if I go down to figure number zero, which doesn't even exist, this should be going down by two to one. So the rule I'm going to come up with for this linear growth pattern is the number of tiles, n, is going to be two times the figure plus one. So if you tell me what figure you're looking at, I can always go to my rule and tell you how many tiles you're going to need. Made with DoodleCast Pro.